It's time now for a look at the latest in local news. In the news, statewide candidates will be traveling to Glenville, Georgia this afternoon for the annual Law Enforcement Appreciation Dinner. Most of those involved in statewide races will be on hand today, shaking hands, seeking votes for the May 24th primary. Governor Kemp will be on hand, as will his opponent, David Perdue. Herschel Walker also will be in attendance, and Herschel will be our special guest this morning on the World Famous Butch and Bob Show to talk about tonight's event, also about his campaign for U.S. Senate. And that's coming up this morning on the World Famous Butch and Bob Show, a conversation with Herschel Walker. going to be a second appearance here on our show. Speaking of Governor Brian Kemp, he continues to lead by double digits in statewide polls. On Tuesday, he signed into law the so-called Constitutional Carry Bill, making it legal to carry a handgun in public without a permit. Senate Bill 319, make sure that law-abiding citizens can protect themselves without having permission from your state government. Governor Kemp says the Constitution of the United States gives us that right, not the government. He signed the bill into law Tuesday at a gun store in Douglasville, Georgia. With Tuesday's signing, Georgia becomes the 25th state with some type of constitutional carry law. Also today on the Butch and Bob Show, we have two local candidates seeking election in May. School board candidate Tina Mosley and county commission candidate Morris Melvin also will join us today. So it's a packed program this morning on the world-famous Butch and Bob Show. Reminder, early voting begins May 2nd, runs up until May 24th. And if you're not registered to vote, you have until April 25th to do so. And you must come to the registrar's office to register to vote. Again, the deadline again, Monday, April 25th. Again, a reminder, early voting gets underway May 2nd on Monday. It runs through Friday, May 20th from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Advanced voting also will be held on Saturday, May 7th and Saturday, May 14th from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. at the Hall Richardson Recreation Center. We'll be back with more news after this word from our sponsor of the commercial messages, so please stay tuned. The FFA's plant sale got underway yesterday and continues today and Friday at the high school's greenhouse. And that's taking place today from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. They state they have a great selection to choose from. We say yesterday's sale was one of the <clears throat> best sales they ever had on day one. Again, that's taking place today and Friday from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. at the high school's greenhouse. Reminder, the Wayne County Farmer's Market opens Friday and Saturdays from 10 to 2. Locally grown fruits and vegetables. The Farmer's Market located at 533 North 1st Street. Georgia Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger will be in town today. He's the guest speaker of the Rotary Club meeting at Captain Joe's at 12 noon. And he's seeking election in the state of Georgia. Again, he'll be the guest speaker at 12 noon today at the Rotary Club at Captain Joe's. <clears throat> Non-members are invited. <clears throat> Excuse me, the meal price for non-members is $11. More good news for the state of Georgia as Georgia tax collections soared again in March, raising the possibility that the state will again end the fiscal year in June with a massive surplus. Revenue collections, mostly from income and sales taxes, were up 45.5% in March after sluggish February. The state is 18.9% or $3.59 billion ahead of a record of 2021 with three months left in this fiscal year. Part of the jump in sales taxes due to the rising prices Fuel tax collections were up 8.8%, despite the fact that Governor Kemp signed into law in mid-March suspending those taxes. State income tax collections have also been on the rise for the past few years since shortly after the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic when Congress first passed massive federal aid spending. House Appropriations Chairman Terry England says the right labor market has led to higher salaries, which in turn brings in more tax revenue. He says people that were making eight twenty-five an hour are now making twelve to fifteen dollars an hour. He says that's a lot of money. With the help of the massive federal COVID aid, the state ends fiscal year twenty twenty-one with a three point seven billion dollar surplus. The projection is that the end of the fiscal year twenty twenty two may be even better than it was in the year twenty twenty one, and that's good news for the state of Georgia. We'll come back with some final news notes after this word from our sponsor of the commercial messages, so please stay tuned. A couple of final notes in news. Wayne County Historical Society meets tonight at Captain Joe's Restaurant. Guest speaker for the meeting will be author of Books of Children and Adults, Pamela Barr Mueller. Ms. Mueller has won many awards for her writing, including three Georgia Author of the Year awards, and she'll be the guest speaker tonight at the Wayne County Historical Society meeting. The program begins at 7 with a Dutch Treat Meal at 6 p.m. Again, Captain Joe's Restaurant is the location. Tickets still on sale for the Wayne County Chamber of Commerce's post-legislative luncheon. That takes place on Tuesday, April 19th from 1130 to 1 at Coastal Pines Technical College. Tickets are $25 for chamber members, $35 for non-members. Everyone's invited to come listen to what the local state delegation feels are the important bills that passed this legislative session. 
on hand will be State Senator Blake Tillery, State Representative Stephen Meeks, and Bill Workhauser. For ticket information, call the chamber at 427-2028. Odom Homecoming presenting Spring Outdoor Movie Night, the movie Hop, Friday, April 29th at 8 p.m. at the Odom Train Depot. It's free to the public. They should bring your own chair, blanket, or golf cart. Concessions will be available for sale at the townhouse. The movie will start at dark. Again, the date, Friday, April 29th, Odom Homecoming presenting the movie Hop in their Spring Outdoor Movie Night. That's going to do it for latest in local news. Sports comes your way in a few minutes. Bob Morgan said have a great day.